Hi, this is Erica with OurChurch.com, and thank you for choosing to have your branded email hosted with us. Oftentimes, people will ask, how can I use my Gmail account to open and receive emails from my webmail account? Well, let me show you how easy it is. First, you want to be in your Gmail account like I am here, and then we're going to go to Settings, and then we're going to go to See All Settings. Now, we're going to go to Accounts and Imports. Once you're in accounts and imports, there's two sections that we're going to deal with. Send mail as and check mail from another account. This is so that we can send mail from our Gmail account through our webmail and check our webmail from our Gmail account. The first part we're going to deal with is send email as. So what we're going to do is right in this section where you can see add another email account, add another email address that is right here. This little pop-up comes up. We're going to put in the email account, our webmail email. So for me, that's contact us at a properfarm.com. Now for your port settings on your webmail hosted with our church.com, you're going to use 587. Now don't forget your username is your email address, the one that you have hosted with us. So again, I'm going to put in contact us at a properfarm.com and then I'm going to put in the password that you would have created or that we would have created for you for your webmail. So I'm just copying and pasting that in. I don't want it to save. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get a verification code from Google to our webmail. So let me just off screen, go to my webmail really quickly and look for that email from Google. Google's going to send you a little verification code again. So you want to make sure that you can get into your webmail, the email that you have hosted with us so that you can get to that Google email. So I found that the code and I've plugged it in. Now the next section, check mail from other accounts. So again, we're just going to click on add a mail account. And again, it's the same one. Contact us at a properfarm.com. Then next, then it's going to ask import mail from other accounts. Yes. Then we click next. So then again, our username is our email address that we're trying to receive emails from. So again, it's contact us at a properfarm.com. Yours is going to be whatever your webmail is. And then again, let me go grab my password so that I can copy and then paste it right here. And then again, for this one, our port is going to be 110. And then we click add account. Now again, Gmail is going to send us an email letting us know what's going on, that we've added another account to our Gmail account, and here's that email there. But we want to give this a test. So I'm going to go to a separate email address that I have, and I'm going to send an email to a properfarm.com. And once I send that email, it should go directly to my Gmail account. So let's give it a test. You don't see me doing this, but on my mobile device, I'm on my email and I'm sending myself an email to a properfarm.com. Now, let's see what happens. We go back to our Gmail and there it is. This is my Gmail account, but this is the email that I sent to, as you can see right here, a properfarm.com. And we can even reply. So I'm going to reply to this email, but as you can see in the top there, it says it's from cornerstonefaith.com, my other email, not Gmail, so that when you send an email to someone through your Gmail for your webmail, what they will see is your webmail address. They won't see your Gmail address. So it's just that simple. So if you want your Gmail account linked to your webmail, just follow these few simple steps. And thank you for hosting your branded email with OurChurch.com.